My old London office mate, Neil Sean, joins me now. Good morning, Neil. Do you think <laughs> Harry can reconcile his relationship with his family? What say you? <laughs> Hello, Ashley from London. I've missed you so much, obviously. <laughs> it was interesting Aww. here, you know. I don't know if you agree, Ashley. Is that it's a really strange thing, isn't yeah. it? Because when you re-watch it, you know, this is the second time around, CBS are getting their money's worth out of this. What I really took away <laughs> from that particular interview was this. Harry talks in, in that uh, segment with Anderson Cooper about how eventually, seven years ago, he decided to have therapy. Now, this is interesting because the timeline mm. is fascinating. At the same period, we are led to believe that Meghan Markle, his wife, felt suicidal and the palace did nothing and, it, and nobody came to help. If Harry knew and had access to therapists, why didn't he put her in touch with them? It just, they, you know, to me, they're just born liars. I mean, their story just, that you know, keeps evolving to whichever version they want to do. If you think about this battle with the king and uh, the prince and princess of Wales, they did everything in their power to welcome Meghan and Harry into the royal family. It was their choice, their decision. It just reeks of sour grapes and you kind of... Watching it again, you realise what a petulant guy he is. And I think that really comes through, given the fact that he bailed out, without telling the judge, I might point out, here at his very first day of the London court hearing. Incredible. I'm almost out of time. I hate to say it, Neil, but can the royal Cold War be, you know, thawed out a little? <laughs> Not really, because, the, you know, it really does take for them to stop what they're doing, which is selling their family down the river. I think if they had a little bit more, you know, humility about themselves, I'm sure King Charles, who is a very warm and empathetic man, would welcome them back. He still would, but it's right. going to take a lot of trust from their side, not from the royals. Neil, great to talk to you. Have a pint for me. Uh, thanks for joining us.